Citroen e Mahari, the electric 4x4, Toyota CHR, the hybrid crossover, the duel is on, Spiker vs. DS, and retro style is all the rage. Icon of the 70s, the Mahari returns to Geneva in 2016, but in an all-electric mode. Based on the Bellori blue car, Citroën revived its holiday car with the e-Mahari. Worthy descendant of its predecessor, one already imagines a scenic oceanside drive. This is a true four-seater convertible that is at once the only electric convertible totally electric. A vehicle which is also all-road, a practical leisure vehicle with a thermoform body. With a strength of 68 horsepower, the e-Mahari can drive up to 110 kilometers on road. Its range is 200 kilometers in the city. Slightly raised, it can access all roads for maximum pleasure. This is clearly a vehicle with which one can have a lot of fun. It also has this position of sitting posture with an elevated seat, a vehicle which itself is enhanced to drive all road, which allows us to have a posture that enables us to manage traffic, which is very reassuring and quite nice. Cost to enjoy the Imahari on a road trip? 25,000 euros. Toyota CHR is a UFO making its world premiere landing in Geneva. This is not a concept car, but the future Japanese compact SUV. Stylish, very distinctive, rival of the more solid Kajai or Tiguan. Aggressive front, oversized grille, muscular wings, and receding roofline at the back. The look of a crossover coupe, very fun. It's very important to say that with this model we have the first time now the new direction of the design, the bold, iconic design, as you can see. It's becoming an edgy car, that it's not all around, that it's, uh, that it's uh, uh, unique. Under the hood, CHR also innovates with a hybrid engine directly from the Prius. Result, lowest CO2 emissions in its category 90 grams per kilometer. It's the second model of the new Toyota, new global architecture. It's a completely new platform and we have a 1.8 litre, 122 horsepower uh, petrol engine which is combined with an electric motor, uh, so a hybrid version. 4 meters 35, yes, but with this sweeping coupe roofline, interior space is not its strong point. Made for small families in the spirit of fun. Expected arrival end of 2016. One is electric, the other thermal. One is a concept, the other a production model. A duel between the DSE 10s and the Spyker C8. Two supercharged rivals. This is a car that is fully electric, which clears a little more than 400 horsepower. It is a supercar that fits into the category of cars that go from 0 to 100 in less than 5 seconds. In addition of Spyker, it's a car that uh, you can see is a lot of aviation history in there. And the car is made from aluminium carbon fiber. We're using an engine uh, with a supercharged charger up, so, it, so it's a, about 525 horsepower. Interior, retro for Spiker, French luxury for DS. Notably 800 hours of work throughout the upholstery area and dashboard. This is something quite incredible, all handmade of course. It has got all the modern features that any of the sports cars have, and you have to have that today. But um, we like the retro look as well, so it's a, com a combination of the two. The Spiker C8 will produce 50 copies, a toy for 325,000 euros to drive only in dreams. Neo retro style is trendy. How to make something new out of the old. The new Beetle plays on the heartstrings of nostalgia for the bug. It reminds me a lot of the one we had at home in 1972. They kept the old and the new. I like it. Fiat 500 is the champion for us to travel through time or by foot to the Trevi Fountain. The fact of finding a bit of a 50s Fiat and then falling back somewhat in that direction a little vintage. 
I love the colors. I love its form. It is beautiful. It reminds me of my childhood, Gloria, an Italian friend, and La Dolce Vita. A recipe applied to this new 100% electric EV3 to revive the famous three-wheel Morgan born in England in 1909. So when people say Morgan, this is what people think of. Traditional, the wings flowing down, the sharpness of the back panel and the front cowl. And then we've, on the Aero 8, we've slightly radicalized that, made it slightly different, slightly more modern, which is a nice little touch. A retro look, but with 21st century technology. We must move towards an ecological approach, cars a bit small, funny and very practical. What's your favorite car of the show? Visit our Facebook page, click on Dream Premieres and like your favorite.